Let's now proceed on how to add and subtract polynomials. To add two or more algebraic expressions with the same literal coefficient, add only their numerical coefficients and affix the literal coefficient. Examples, we have 4u plus 7u. Since they have the same literal coefficient, which is the variable u, let's add their numerical coefficients, which are 4 and 7. And 4 plus 7 will give us 11. And then do not forget to affix the literal coefficient u. Next example, we have mn minus 9mn. So they have the same literal coefficient. So let's just subtract their numerical coefficients. As we all know, here in mn, we have an invisible constant 1 here. So that's why we have, we'll have 1 minus 9. So that will give us negative 8. And then attach the literal coefficient mn. So the answer is negative 8 mn. Next example, we have negative p squared q plus 7p squared q. So in the first term, we have here negative 1. So negative 1 plus 7, that will give us 6p squared u. And lastly, we have negative 11 x squared y cubed minus x squared y cubed plus 8x squared y cubed. So let us just take all the numerical coefficients, which are negative 11, negative 1, and 8. So that will give us negative 11 minus 1 plus 8. That will lead us to the answer equal to negative 4x squared y cube. And always remember that we can only add and subtract similar or like terms together. For the fifth example, we have 3a minus 4b plus 8a plus b. We can combine here 3a and 8a and negative 4b and b. So what we're going to do is to group it like what we did here and then we can add 3 and 8 and negative 4 and 1. And then by adding, and then by doing so, 3 plus 8 will give us 11. Then copy the literal coefficient, which is a, and negative 4 plus 1 will give us negative 3. And then copy the literal coefficient. So for the final answer, we have 11a minus 3b. Sixth example, we have to add 3c squared minus 2c minus 3 and c squared minus c plus 1. So what are we going to do is to group the similar or like terms, which are 3c squared and c squared. So plus c squared, then plus negative 2c minus c, and lastly, the constant, which is negative 3 and 1. So by adding... 3 squared plus c squared, that will give us 4c squared. And then plus negative 2c minus c, that will give us negative 3c. And lastly, we have negative 3 plus 1, so that will give us negative 2. So for the final answer or the sum of the two given addends, we have 4c squared minus 3c minus 2. Another way of adding or subtracting polynomials is by arranging the addends vertically with similar terms on the same column. So like in this example, so we're just going to align the similar terms in the same column and then we and then we can now proceed with addition proper. So we have 3 c squared plus c squared so that will give us 4c squared, negative 2c minus c, which will give us negative 3c, and negative 3 plus 1, which will give us negative 2. So either way, you're still going to get the same answer. Example 7, we have to subtract x minus 5y plus 6z from 2x plus 7y minus z. So that will give us 2x plus 7y minus z minus the quantity x minus 5y plus 6z. So, so it is important to always put a parenthesis on the subtrahend. It's because we are go since it's sub since it's subtraction, we have to change the sign of each term. 
which will give us this copy 2x plus 7y minus z. And since it's subtraction, we have to change the sign of each term of the subtrahend. So positive x will become negative x. Negative 5y will become positive 5y. And positive 6z will become negative 6z. So that's the first thing you are going to do in subtraction. Always put a parenthesis on the subtrahend and then change the sign of each term inside. And then now we can combine the like terms. So we have 2x minus x plus 7y plus 5y plus negative z minus 6z, in which we'll get 2x minus x. So it's like 2 minus 1, so that will give you x. 7y plus 5y, which will give us positive 12y and negative z minus 6z. So it's like negative 1 minus 6. So that's why we got here negative 7z. So for the final answer in the given, we have x plus 12y minus 7z. Another way we can arrange the terms vertically with similar terms on the same column and then we'll change the sign of the subtrahend and we can proceed to algebraic addition. So 2x plus negative x, that will give us x. 7y plus 5y will give us 12y and negative z plus negative 6z. So that will give us neg negative 7z. So again, either way, you're going to get the same answer. Next example, example 8. We are to subtract 2x plus y minus 5 from the sum of x minus 3y plus 1 and x minus 6. So first thing that we're going to do is to find the sum of x minus 3y plus 1 and x minus 6. So let's just align all the addends vertically and with the similar terms on the same column. So that will be x plus x, that will give us 2x, and then negative 3y, so let's just bring it down. Negative 3y and then positive 1 plus negative 6, that will give us negative 5. And then we are going to subtract from this the 2x plus y minus 5. Okay, so that will give us... 2x minus 3y minus 5 minus 2x plus y minus 5. Again, subtraction. We have to change the sign of each term in the subtrahend. So that will give us 2x plus negative 2x. So that will give us 0. Negative 3y plus negative y. That will give us negative 4y. And negative 5 plus 5. That will give us zero so the answer or the final answer is negative four y last example we have subtract the sum of x squared minus three xy plus five y squared and four x squared plus five xy minus two y squared from x squared minus xy plus y squared so first thing to do is to find the sum of x squared minus 3xy plus 5y squared and 4x squared plus 5xy minus 2y squared. So that will give us x squared plus 4 squared, 4x squared, that will give us 5x squared, negative 3xy plus 5xy, which is equal to 2x, and 5y squared plus negative 2y squared, that will give us positive, positive 3y squared. And then after getting the sum, we are going to subtract it from x squared minus xy plus y squared. And then again, do not forget to change the sign of the change the sign of each term on the subtrahend. So that's why we have here negative 5x squared minus 2xy minus 3y squared. So by finding the difference, we have x squared plus negative 5x squared, that is equal to negative 4x squared, negative xy plus negative 2xy, so that will give us negative 3xy, xy, and y squared plus negative 3y squared, that will give us negative 2y squared. So that is for the final answer of the given.